Hello guys, my name is Srinivas Rao, I am a Python trainer, I have 20 years of experience, uh, both project experience as well as uh, teaching experience. Yes, and today we will start a new topic. The new topic is, see we have finished in this data types, we have finished, uh, in data types we have finished numeric. In numeric, uh, we know what is integer, we understand what is integer, what is complex number, what is float. So, we have finished this, okay, and we know what is boolean. Boolean stores true or false, okay. Next what we, uh, we finished in sequence type, in sequence type we started strings, we started strings and uh, uh, in previous video we discussed all the concepts of strings, okay. Uh, how to format a string, okay, how to access, how to access uh, a substring or a or a, and one one character and what are the methods? We discussed all the methods of the string. Yes, this we discussed. Now here, uh, today uh, today what will do? We will discuss about list now. In today's session, we will discuss list. Yes. What is list? For example, example I want to I want to store five students roll numbers. I want to store 5 student roll numbers. Normally what will do? 5 students roll numbers, okay. Uh, what will do? We will declare one variable. For example, uh, student 1, student 1 roll number and I will store for example 100. I want to store second student's roll number. So, what will do? I will say st std2 roll number and I will show second student roll number that is 101 and what will do here? I will declare one, another variable for student 3 102. For student 4 roll number, uh, roll number uh, what will do here? I will say 103 and one more student, student 5 roll number equals to 104. So, if you want to store 5 students roll numbers, so I have to declare how many variables? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 variables I have to declare. If you want to store 5 students roll numbers, for example, for example there are 50 students in my class, there are 50 students in my class, so I have to declare, I have to declare how many variables? 50 variables, I have to declare what? How many? 50 variables I have to declare. Suppose there are 100 students in my class, if there are 100 students in my class, so I have to declare how many variables? I have to declare 100 variables, correct? 100 variables. And suppose for example, there are 1000 students in my class, 1000 students in my class, so I have to declare 1000 variables. I have to declare 1000 variables. Now, now, my program will be very lengthy. Now, my program will be le very lengthy if I declare 1000 variables and it will be very confusing. So, what is the solution for this? Uh, the solution is uh, there is one data type in Python, there is one data type, okay. Uh, just now I showed you, right. The data type is what? Uh, it is it is list. In, uh, in list, we can store n number of values. It stores n number of values, thousands of values you can store in single variable using this list data type, okay. So, we will see what is list, what are the properties of list, how to create list, all these things we will discuss. So, list, list is ordered, ordered sequence of items, ordered sequence of items means uh, you can store like this for example 10, for example 20, 30, I want to store all these values in a single variable. So, I can store like this here, we have to uh, enclose with here, we have to put brackets here, square brackets and here we can store n number of values, thousands of values you can store in this uh, list data type. It is a ordered sequence of items, okay. And now we will see what are the properties. 
we will see what are the properties. What are the properties of list? The first property mutable means when you create a list, when you create a list, uh, the list can be modified. The list can be modified. Okay, uh, means uh, we can add, we can add the items to uh, to the list. We can remove items from the list, and we can also modify. We can modify the list. We can add, we can remove, we can modify the items in the list. Okay, that is the first property. It's called mutable, or changeable, or you can say changeable. Now, what is the next property? Next property is what ordered. So list maintains list maintains uh, what index number every list has index number for example okay i want to store 10 20 30 40 50 so what i do here i said 10 20 30 40 and 50 i want to store this five values in the list so every item maintains index number okay for first item the index number is 0 for second item the index number is 1 and this is 2 and this is 3 and this is 4. So, every item maintains index number and index number always starts from 0. The first index for, for the index number is 0 for first item, it starts from left hand side. It starts from left hand side. So, this is second property. Third property heterogeneous, third property is what? Heterogeneous. Now, what is heterogeneous? The list can contain different kinds of elements, different kinds, different, different kinds means different types. For example, the elements can be integer, the elements can be floating point number, the elements can be string, the elements can be a boolean and the elements can be a list also, list also. Okay? Uh, we will see all these things back then. For example, uh, for example, this is my list 10, 20, 30. These are integers, not only integers, uh, list can support even floating point number 10.5. Okay? Uh, for example, hello, okay? you can store a string also in the same list and also you can store a boolean value true. And also you can store another another list for example 1 comma 2 comma 3 so this is called this is called what this is called heterogeneous heterogeneous means you can store integers floating point number strings booleans and even another list so this is called heterogeneous and the last one the last one is what duplicates the fourth property is duplicates the list can contain duplicate values list can have two items with the same values. For example, this is my list, this is my list. So, for example, 10, 20, 30, so another 10 will be there, okay. uh, 40, 10, 50, 10, 60. So, here we have multiple tens here. So, this multiple tens can be in the list, okay. uh, we, can, we can have multiple items here with the same item. So, this is a four properties again at issue this mutable, changeable the items can we can add the items, we can remove the items, we can modify the items and uh, ordered every item maintains index number, index number always starts from left hand side and starts from 0. We have uh, native indexing that we will discuss uh, later, uh, we have ordered heterogeneous and fourth property is what duplicate values. Okay? These are the four properties of list. Okay. Now, next how to how to create see, see this sample list well, for example, this is the name of the variable and we have 20 in this list and it always remember it is surrounded by brackets here, brackets open bracket close bracket all items are enclosed with brackets. So, this is first item 20 JSA it is STR 35.75 it is second items here, the index number is 0 for first item, for second item the index number is 1, for third item it is 2 and fourth item it is 3, right. Ordered, ordered the properties are ordered, changeable, heterogeneous and it contains duplicate values, right. These are about the properties of, properties of list, right. Now, next, next is how to create list. 
Next is uh, we will discuss how to create a list. How to create a list? There are two ways to create list. There are two ways to create list. Number one, number one by using brackets, square brackets. Okay, one way is to create square brackets, and the second way, and the second way there is one constructor or a method called list method, L I S T constructor or you can say method and we have brackets here, see here round brackets, list round brackets. Second method, second method is list L I S T round bracket open wrong reports. This is called a method or you can say constructor. What are constructors we will discuss in object oriented programming. Okay? So, one is brackets and second one is constructor. Right. So, we will see practically, we will see practically how to create list in Python. So, what will you do? Uh, I will go to PyCharm. I will go to PyCharm. I want to create list. So, what will you do? First, I will declare one variable called, for example, my list1. My list1. This is the name of the variable equals to, and I will start with what? Brackets, square brackets. So, for example, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. There are 5 items in my list. How many items are there? There are 5 items 10, 20, 30, and 40, and 50. First, what will do? First, uh, let me print this. Okay. Uh, what will do? We will print, print my list, my list 1. Okay. And when you run this program, uh, when you run this program, now see here we got the output words 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and it is surrounded by what? Square brackets, square brackets. So, this is list. I want to check what is the data type of this my list 1. I want to check what is the data type. So, to check, we have one more function called type function. Type function will tell you what is the data type of this my list 1. It will, it will return it will return the type of my list 1 and when I run this, when I run this, uh, please see this output. The output is what? Class list. So, the data type of this my list is what? List. What is class? We will discuss later in object hundred. but the type of my list 1 is list. The type of my list 1 is what? List. Yes. Right. So, we understand what are the, what is list? What are the properties of list? and how to create list. So, there are two ways to create list. We discuss first one. What is second one? Second one is to use constructor. Okay. Second one is used to constructor, second way. First way is what? First way is by using this brackets. And second way, there is one constructor or a method called list function or method whatever. So, this is what? A constructor. What are constructors? We will discuss in uh, object oriented, but remember the constructor name is what? List bracket open bracket. Okay, now we will see how to create. So, what will do? I will create uh, one more list now. My list 2. My list 2 equals to now this time I will use second, second method. Uh, second is what? List constructor. See, this is list constructor. List bracket and open bracket and close. Here I'll pass one list here. Okay, for example, 100, 200, 300. This time enter one floating point number 10.5, comma, comma hello, hello world, comma, comma one boolean value. For example, true, comma. One more, one more small uh, nested list or sub list you can say, one comma, two comma three. This is called heterogeneous. Okay. Why this list is called heterogeneous? Why this is called heterogeneous? Because this integer, these three are integers. These three are integers. This is floating point number. This is string. And this is again, this is bool. This is bool, and this is again another list, a sub list. So, enter the string called uh, a list can contain integers, floating point numbers, string, boolean value, and also an list. So, this is called the third property is what heterogeneous. 
So, list can contain different types of elements, hetero, this is called heterogeneous, yes. Now, what I will do, I will put some duplicate items in this, for example, I uh, will remove this, uh, these things and now I will say here, uh, for example, 100, 400, 100, 500, 600, 100 and 600. So, list can have, list can have duplicate items. See here, 100 is there here, 100 is here, 100 is here, 100 is there. So, there are 400, 400s, there are 400 means duplicate, duplicates are allowed in the list, are allowed in the list. What is the fourth property? Yes. So, we understand how, what is list, what are the four properties of list, how to create list. There are two ways to create list, one by using brackets and one by using constructor. Yes, creating list is done. Okay. Now, what we will do, uh, we will discuss about order. Okay. Every list, every list contains uh, every list items contains index number, maintains index numbers. Okay. Let, me, let me my list, this is my list equals to square bracket okay. 10, 20, 30, 40, 40 and 50, right. List maintains what? Maintains index numbers, every item has what? Index numbers, index numbers. So, index numbers, uh, index numbers from here, it starts from 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Index number starts from 0 from the left hand side, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, uh, even we have negative indexing numbers, negative index numbers, negative index numbers starts from the right hand side starts from the right hand side and it starts from minus 1, not 0. This is minus 2, this is minus 3, minus 4 and minus 5. Okay. So, index number negative starts from right hand side, the last one okay. and uh, positive index numbers and it starts from 0 actually, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and from negative from the right minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. Right. Uh, now, uh, now, I want to access, now I want to access. So, what I will do, I uh, will go to, I will create one thing, let, let me create from starting, uh, my list, my list, my list equals to for example, 10 comma, 20 comma, 30 comma, 40 comma, 50, okay? right. Now, for 10, the index number is 0, 20, 1, 32, 43 and 54. 54. Uh, I want to access, I want to access, uh, I want to access first character, first item, I want to access this one. If you want to access the first item, uh, see here, my list and in square bracket notation, in square bracket notation, we should give the index number of 10, the index number of 10 is what? The index number of 10 is 0, okay? and I will come here and then what I will do, I will print this Right, and when I run this program, uh, when I run this program, see ten is accessed here. When I access zero, when I put zero in this my list in square bracket notation, I'm I want to access the first item, so I put the index number zero in this my list, and ten is accessed here. For example, I want to access thirty. What is the index number of thirty? The index number of thirty is what? Zero one two. So what I'll do here, uh, I'll put. To here. And next, what will do? I will click on this run button. And when I click on this run button, uh, 30, 30 is accessed here, 30 is accessed. Okay, right. Now, next, next we will discuss about functions. There are some functions in list also, like string functions, we have functions. Okay. Uh, for example, I want to know 
how many items are present in the list? How many items are present? Are there or present whatever you can say are there in list? So, we have one function called len function. This will return how many items in the list? This will return how many items are there in the in the list ok. So, for example, ln ln equals to I declared one variable called ln ln equals to len in brackets my list my list ok. Then what I will do I will print this ln ln ok. Yes, now it will tell you how many items are there there are there are 5 items ln function will give how many items are there there are 5 items ok. Uh, what will you I will try to add some more here ok uh, 60, 70, 80, 90 and 100 and when I run this uh, you will get number of items number of items. So, please here there are 10 items 10 to 100 there are 10 items. So, this len function will tell you it will return what number of items present in the list ok yes. So, in next video session we will discuss about how to access uh, from back end side using native index number and also uh, we use slicing slicing operator this we will discuss in the next uh, video session ok. So, if you like this video please click on like button and share to your friends our, uh, our channel ok. Thank you very much.